A business owner is at his wit's end as smashed, stripped, and abandoned cars have created a safety concern in his West Houston neighborhood. He turned to ABC 13 after multiple city agencies said they could not help. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson has more on the story. See that abandoned car is still there. Car. This car has been here for like a year. After car. It'll sit there for a long period of time. After car. Girl like that. This. Bumper to bumper, Albury Drive and its neighboring streets in Houston's west side are jam-packed with abandoned, leaking, and stripped-down cars. You know, this is all we worked with for the last 20 years, and I don't want to be associated with this kind of, these kind of people. An auto body shop owner himself, Edward Morales, says many of the cars are brought in and left by other auto body shops that open and close quickly. Other cars appear overnight. The shop owner, Edward Morales, says it's vehicles just like this one that are causing the most concern for him. Sitting here with no license plates, he says it's parked illegally. You can even see a citation left behind for the city for $105 because it's parked in front of a fire hydrant. Morales says these cars need to go, but he's been trying to get the streets cleaned up for years with no luck. ABC 13 called Houston police, but we were told this is not a case of illegal dumping and doesn't fall under their department and to try Park Houston. Park Houston says the cars aren't parked illegally, so it's not their jurisdiction. We reached out to Houston auto dealers and the community councilman Edward Pollard. Pollard says he's reaching out directly to Morales to learn more about the issue. These guys, it's pretty much a free for all here. Morales says crime breeds crime. As more cars are dumped and abandoned, intersections become overcrowded, leading to hit and runs. He also says customers have expressed concern with leaving their own cars behind. So a lot of them are like, no, nah, I don't want them to work on it because if the street looks like this. Imagine what kind of work I'm going to do. That's not true. I actually take real good care of our customers. Morales feels this spectacle would be shut down in other parts of the city and wants to see the same enforcement here. From Houston's West Side, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.